<clears throat> we're at the church where um, the man who wrote Amazing Grace preached. When was that? Oh, that was in the 1830s, wasn't mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They've done a lot of work on this. Yeah, they have. The it cornice just, things. Everything they, just looked clean. Uh -huh. they, they've cleaned the stone. Mm -hmm. they, the windows, all of it. They've re, yeah. repainted all of the mm -hmm. cornice things. There's the organ. Is this Anglican Church? Anglican That's Church of England. What? And some Anglican churches, you know, you say they broke from the Catholic Church but didn't break very far and still in the Catholic. Then you do have some very good evangelical In the back of every pew has these like family crests or crochet things. It's real epic. So what about, are there Lutheran churches here? Or is that a like an ang it's a German, oh, German yeah. Reformation? Okay, right there. And then Makes sense. you can tell if a church has been through the Reformation, <gasps> speaking of the Lutheran and German, yeah. Luther and everything, a church that's not been through the Reformation, the pulpit is still to one side. But a oh Reformed church, like our churches in the States, or even here, if you go into a church and the pulpit's in the center, then that church has been, it's a reformed church. It's gone through the Reformation because it's the idea of the centrality of the Word of God, that mm. it is the Word of God that oh, everything is based on. And that's why they moved the pulpits at that point to the center of the church. Wow. Like